Pick up? Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. What chapter is that in? Are you with me? So he's ready to build a tabernacle. Yeshua said, chill out, man. I'm taking you on a grace ride. You don't got to do nothing. What is a grace ride? You'll have the appearance of Torah and the prophets. Somewhere in your grace ride, is not, is not this a ride of grace? So you can't have a grace ride because he's headed on the way to Graceland. Amen, somebody. He's right straight headed on the way to Graceland. How do I get to Graceland? In a great rock, grace ride. How do I experience grace? You're going to have to have Torah and, and the prophets appear to you at some point or else you won't appreciate grace. You won't be able to walk in grace. You won't be able to stay in grace. And you won't be able to check out Graceland. Elvis may not have risen, but I know the one who did rise who's going to take you to Graceland, the land, the Beulah land, somebody. How many plan on visiting Graceland? I'll go better than that. I'm planning on staying in Graceland. <laughs> Hallelujah. Baruch Hashem, <laughs> you know, it ain't Elvis driving. It's Yeshua. It's Yeshua. So keep us ready to build. He's ready to do, to do this and do that. And all of a sudden, boom, what does the father do? Now this chariot's going up, 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 up. While he was speaking, what's another, what's a nice way to say, uh, what's a New York way to say while he was speaking? While he was mouthing off and blabbing, yeah. right? Yeshua was taking him to the Father, amen? He's taking him into the kingdom, amen? He's taking him into the eighth day, amen? Where's the hammer? Where's the keeps talking. And see, <laughs> what's that word? See. If you see, what does that mean? The vision continues. See. He was talking, he was both. <laughs> He was talking. So, <laughs> he was talking so much he wasn't seeing what Yahweh wanted to show him. And what did Yahweh want to show him? Things to come. And so the Father, in His Chesed, in His mercy, had a voice come out of a cloud saying, "You, this is my son. It ain't in the sukkah. It ain't. This is my son. Follow him. Stop talking to yourself." Stop talking to the driver. This is my son, my beloved, in whom I delight. Yeah. Kifa, you got a big mouth. <laughs> Don't hear yourself. You're talking about Sukkot. I'm willing to take you in the future, into glory, to show you the future home. We're on a Merkava. Shut up. Nobody called you to build. Listen. This is my beloved son. Don't listen to yourself. Hear him. Now the church, now the, can, we, can we talk? You know the church teaches this? Well, this is gold establishing grace because it's, Moshe is the law, right? Tell me if you ever heard this one. Moshe is the law. Elijah is a part of the law because he's to the left of Matthew. <laughs> right? So gold, glory to gold, comes out of heaven in a voice and says, Kepha, don't go back under the law. Listen to Yeshua, my son. Don't go back under, listen to my son. Have you ever heard a talk like that? Yeah. Yeah. Just the opposite. It's like, it's nice that you want to do Torah, but this is not about building sukkahs. Stop talking and listen to Yeshua. Because yeah. you're on a vision. Why are you talking to the driver? Right. What happens when you talk to the driver? Ponce. Ponce. C'est là. That's the introduction. Numero dos. <laughs> well, Rabbi, I don't, know, I don't understand a lot of things about you. We're going to 6 o'clock today. I'm sorry. So if you got to go, just go ahead. I won't hold it against you. If you got to do your laundry, go ahead. We're in a chariot right now. 6 o'clock. No problem. Believe me, your bladder will last. It won't be easy. It won't be easy. But you'll make it. Turn to your neighbor and say, you look like you will make it. 
Baruch Hashem Yahweh. People say to me, Rabbi, now, and I understand this B'nai Yeshua stuff, I understand this Mirkava, I understand the chariots, okay, that's great. I understand all that. Kifa, Yochanan, Yaka, Warnachan. But what is this your arm to Israel business? Huh? Now, what is this your arm? What is your arm to Israel? Are you shipping nuclear weapons, biological weapons, <laughs> chemical weapons? What are you shipping to Israel? Have you been investing? I had the, yeah, I had the FBI call me. Yeah. He said, what are, you, what are you doing? I said, what do you mean, what am I doing? I'm, t I'm, more, I'm, I'm praying, I'm typing, I'm reading my Bible. I said, no, no, but what is this? You're, I, you always want to have the FBI call me. See, now you know why they're not catching any of the terrorists. They're going after the Jews instead of the Muslims. Worried about arms. If I keep dressing like that, I'll really look like a Muslim. <laughs> Rivka's afraid to take me out. <laughs> Are you going I'm saying, sweetheart, how do I look now? She goes, like a Muslim. <laughs> I said, how about now? <laughs> like a Muslim. <laughs> All right, how about now? And Rivka says, go by yourself. <laughs> Blame it on South Carolina. The Beggar Boys. All right, let's, let's get back to this. Okay. What about this Yoram to Israel stuff? Turn with me to Yeshayahu. It's all about Amir Kava, a chariot ride. It's all about Amir Kava. Mirkava. Isn't it nice to know that Kiva had the same driver as Yechezkel? Huh? Hallelujah. Yeshayahu, 51. Ted, you enjoying? Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Thank you. Yeshayahu, 51.5. My, talking about Yahshua, my righteousness is near. My salvation deliverance will go forth. My arms will judge nations. Coastlands will wait upon me. For my arm, they wait expectantly. So who is the arm of Yahweh? Yeshua. The chariot driver, Yeshua. But notice it says arms. Your arms to Israel. Those are the arms of Yahweh. What are the arms of Yahweh? Yeshua, the right arm, and the Ruach HaKodesh, the whirlwind that drives the chariot. So how do we extend our arms to Israel? We look for Israelites to put them in the same... Come on, come on, come on. To put them in the same chariot that we're in. How do we do it? Your arm. It's not for us, it's for them. We are their arms, and your arms to Israel. Yeshua and the Ruach HaKodesh. Right? You extend Yahweh, it says, these are my arms to Israel. Yeah. You tell me, shut oh, up, yeah. and stay on and listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll leave that job to you. I'll invite him. You tell him to sit down and shut up. <laughs> Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yechezkel, um, Yechezkel 3320. Yechezkel 3320. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. You have said the way of Yahweh is not fair, O house of Israel. I will judge every one of you according to his own ways. So all Israel is in their own way, their own what? Chariot. Hello? Can we talk? Have you come into this messianic faith feeling like you've been banged up in a different chariot? Huh? And you kept pleading and begging with the driver and he wouldn't stop? And you feel like Balaam's donkey that keeps running into a wall? Did you ever, before you came to the Messianic faith, feel like Balaam's donkey? And what did Balaam's donkey eventually say to Yahweh? What, what to Balaam? Then he, he forsook the madness of the prophet. He says, why do you keep running me into walls? The born-again experience without Torah and without Yeshua preaching the truth of the, God, of the good news is like Balaam's donkey bouncing off of walls, banging into walls, and getting stress fractures while you're banging into walls. I know I've been there. I was godfathered by a Catholic and, and taught by a Baptist. So I don't hate nobody. I love these people. 